kids, do you love eating honey as I do? Hmm, they are so sweet and yummy. But do you know where this honey comes from? They come from honey bees. You will be surprised to know that they have a queen bee who is the mother of all the bees in the hive. Yes, a queen bee. She is responsible for laying all the eggs that will become female worker bees and male drones. Ever wondered how a bee becomes a queen? Well, today in this video, I am going to tell you how a bee becomes a queen. Honey bees have a harsh caste system. Of the tens of thousands of bees found in a hive, just about all of them are female workers and they do pretty much everything from cleaning and building the hive to collecting pollen and nectar. Their lives are so intense that while a worker can live from 4 to 9 months during the winter, a worker bee born in the busy summer season will only last about 6 weeks before dying of exhaustion. It's not a whole lot better for the 300 to 3000 male drones who basically hang around waiting to mate with the queen during the summer, after which they die or are kicked out of the hive. When fall comes, they are of no use. Then there's that queen. There's one per hive and she can live to be up to 5 years old, laying up to 2000 eggs in a day. Can you imagine? 2000 eggs in a day. She owes her entire existence to a bitter protein rich secretion called royal jelly. Given their long life and unique position, there's rarely a need for a new queen. Do you know royal jelly plays a large role in making a lava bee the next queen bee? Worker bees produce royal jelly from a gland in their heads called the hypopharynx and feed it to newly hatched honeybee larva. The milky yellowish substance is made of digested pollen and either honey or nectar. Not only is it high in protein, but royal jelly has a combination of vitamins, especially vitamin B+, lipids, sugars, hormones and minerals, including potassium, magnesium, calcium and iron. Worker bees choose a few of the larvae and continue to feed them royal jelly while every other larvae is switched to a less nutrient attentive diet of honey, pollen and water. As the future queen gorge, the royal jelly triggers other phases of development that workers don't experience like the formation of ovaries for laying eggs. If one queen emerges first, she will fight and destroy all other queens that are developing in their wax cells. If multiple queens come out simultaneously, they will fight to the death until only one queen remains. A 2011 study found that the larva of future queens have high levels of proteins that increase some metabolic activities. So, there may indeed be a tiny genetic difference in the two that plays a huge role. Once they emerge queens, they continue eating royal jelly their entire lives and given that the queen lives longer. It sounds like a reasonable dietary choice for a royal bee to make, isn't it? That's all for today guys. Just hit like and share this with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video.